Hello, Grade 9 students! This is our Homeroom Guidance Class, First Quarter, Lesson 2, Conquering Clouds of Challenges. To our dearest great learners, I am Great Teacher Alvin Boots, and welcome to our great community. Expect to have a fun, engaging, and amazing lesson for today. Asahang, meron tayong makabuluhang matututunan na magagamit sa pang-araw-araw nating mga buhay. For you to be updated, do not forget to follow our online platforms, The Great Teacher, Teachers Academy. For this lesson, we will be discussing about conquering the clouds of challenges. Understanding your limitations inside and outside the school is just as important as looking into other aspects like life experiences, social, economic status, lifestyle, values, and beliefs. All of this, these can influence your achievement of life goals. Ano itong mga life goals na ito? These life goals are great motivational factors for you to keep going and inspired in being the best. Ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng lakas ng loob, ng saya at motivation para mas lalo tayong ma-inspired para maging the best sa kung anong meron tayo. Most especially when unexpected life setbacks happen such as the current COVID-19 pandemic. Indeed, continuing to focus on your studies is one of the best foundations that you can build. Specifically, consider the advantages and disadvantages of using effective study habits as your guide to develop routines. Things that you can do on a regular basis which can help you achieve academic success. Ito yung mga bagay na makakatulong sa atin na ginagawa natin sa araw-araw. Para makamit natin yung mga academic success na pinapangarap natin. As a learner, you constantly face several things that demand your time for school or family. But knowing your priorities or what is important in life will guide you to do what is best. Napakimportante malaman natin kung ano yung pinaka-priority natin sa buhay natin. At kapag nalaman natin ito, ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng lakas at mag-guide sa atin para gawin natin yung the best na magagawa natin. Okay, so let's continue. Here are our goals and objectives for today's lessons. Ito yung mga inaasahan nating matututunan pagkatapos ng lesson na ito. Number one, identify the different challenges encountered in dealing with school activities and how these challenges were dealt positively. Ano-ano yung mga nai-encounter natin na challenges sa ating mga paralan o at mga activities na nagbibigay sa atin ng challenge sa buhay natin bilang isang mag-aaral. Paano natin dinideal ang mga bagay na ito? Paano natin hinaharap ang mga bagay na ito? In a positive manner. Okay. Next one. Number two. Compare the pros and cons in utilizing the various study habits. Uh, Iko-compare natin kung ano yung mga positibo at mga negatibo mga bagay na meron tayo para i-utilize yung iba't ibang study habits na meron tayo. And lastly, number three. Share insights on performing daily tasks in schools. Magbigay tayo ng mga insights kung paano natin ginagawa yung mga pangaraw-araw natin ginagawa sa school at yung mga task natin sa school. Okay, so let's continue. Before we start our discussions, or our discussion, let me just test your prior knowledge. Are you ready? So let's get started. Again, you may pause this video so that you may have much time answering our springboard. Remember, Do not cheat. Good luck, my great learners. So here is our springboard entitled, How Do I Study? If you notice, on the right side, we do have four pictures there. So number one, identify the possible challenges of a learner in each 
pictures on the right. So, makikita natin dyan sa unang picture. Ako, parang ang dami niyang homework. Pangalawa, oh, yung babae dyan, no? Parang tinatamad na siyang gumawa. Tapos, eto naman, yung sa ilalim, hmm, manonotice natin parang nahihirapan siyang intindihin yung mga bagay. And, yung pang-apat naman, makikita natin dyan na parang nabibisi na siya. Kaka-cellphone. Instead na dapat nag-aaral siya sa mga oras na yon. Okay, so identify the possible challenges of the learner in each picture on the right. And number two, write your answers on a clean piece of paper to be followed by your answers to the preceding questions. Okay, so are you ready? Alright, so I know you're ready. So let's get started. Again, you may pause the video if you need more time to answer. All right. So timer starts now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. A round of applause to everyone. Okay. Let's continue. Here are, here are our processing questions. Okay. So, before we start our discussion, let us answer these. Are you ready? Let's get started. Again, you may pause this video so that you may have much time answering our springboard. All right. So, number one, what is the most challenging situation for you in the picture. Ano sa tingin mo yung pinaka-challenging? Challenging ba yung uh, masyado nakatutok sa cellphone instead of studying? Challenging ba yung uh, kagaya ng isa, medyo nahihirapan siya siguro sa kanyang internet kasi may nakalagay doong loading? Or masyadong madami ng homework na hindi nagawa? Ano-ano uh, yung mga bahagay no? na para sa iyo is the most challenging? Okay, number two. Among the challenges presented, where can you relate the most? And why? Ano yung pinaka na-relate ka? Maybe na-experience mo na yung mga bagay na ito. And we all know, one of those pictures, naka-experience ka talaga kahit isa doon. You tell me why, okay? And then lastly, number three, how do you overcome and deal with it positively? Hmm. Kung na-experience mo yon, yung isang bagay doon, or dalawang bagay doon na nakita mo sa picture, Paano mo ginawa ng paraan? Paano mo na deal yung situation? How did how did you deal it positively? How how did you deal with it positively? Okay. So, let's get started. All right. Timer starts now. One. Okay, time is up. Great. All right. Now, let us proceed. And let's get started with our lesson. Okay, so the title of our lesson for today is Conquering the Clouds of Challenges. Ano, yung mga clouds of challenges na kailangan nating ma-overcome and we need to conquer. Now, let's find out. So, before we continue, let's review what we have learned from your past module or from your past lessons. Okay, so you have learned about the different learning styles and how can these affect your study habits. In addition, you will be able to assess your study skills and identify those that are needed for effective facilitation of learning. You will also be able to gain insights about different ways and how you can strengthen effective study habits. So, let's continue. Conquering the Clouds of Challenges Right. So, meron ako ditong quote from Rabindranath Tagore. Alright. Sabi niya, Clouds come floating into my life. No longer to carry rain or usher storm, 
but to add color to my sunset sky. Oh, ano ang pagkakaintindi mo dito? Dito sa quote niyang ito. Clouds come floating into my life, no longer to carry rain or usher storm, but to add color to my sunset sky. Ngayon, think of those things. Thanks of the quote. Eh, thanks about the quote. No? Paano mo siya naintindihan? Because we will use this one para sa susunod nating discussion. Na? Okay. Let's continue. So, we do have here, conquering the clouds of challenges. Understanding your limitations inside and outside the school is just as important as looking into other aspects like life experiences, social economic status, lifestyle, values, and beliefs. Napaka-importante nito na malaman natin kung ano yung mga limitations natin na meron tayo. For example, sa bahay, ano yung mga, naglilim- mga bagay naglilimita sa atin sa ating mga tahanan. And as well as sa school, ano yung mga bagay na naglilimit sa atin doon. Napaka-importante nito. <sighs> Dahil ito ay makaka-influence or is a great factor that can influence your achievement of life goals. Lalong-lalo na pag meron tayong mga goals in life na gusto nating i-achieve. So these life's go- life goals are great motivational factors for you to keep going and be inspired and being the best. Ito yung mga magmo-motivate sa atin. Ito yung mga life goals na yung mga life goals na meron tayo. Ito yung magmo-motivate sa atin para gawin yung the best, no? Para gawin yung pinaka uh, excellent na kaya nating gawin sa buhay natin. Especially when unexpected life setbacks happen, such as the current COVID-19 pandemic. Alam naman natin ngayon na dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic, marami mga la- nakailang lockdowns, lockdowns tayo, uh, nahirapan tayong well, to move forward in life kasi uh, na-isolate tayo sa bahay. Pero kung meron tayong mga life goals in, sa ating buhay, no? Ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng motivation to continue to being the best of what we are in life, no? Para maging the best tayo sa buhay natin. Okay? So, let's continue. Indeed, continuing to focus on your study is one of the best foundations that you can build. Yes, dapat mag-focus tayo. Bakit? Kasi ito yung magiging foundation natin to achieve those life goals that we have. Specifically, consider the advantages and disadvantages of using study habits as your guide to develop routines. Napag-aralan natin yan last time. And things that you can do on a regular basis which can help you achieve academic success. As a learner, you constantly face several things that demand your time for school or family, but knowing your priorities or what is important in life will guide you to do what is best. Napaka-importante malaman natin ang priorities natin. Bakit? Kasi ito yung magdadala sa atin ng success. Pag alam natin kung ano yung mga bagay na ipra-prioritize natin, mas lalo tayong makaka-focus. And we will be able to move forward na walang hindrances. Well, masasabi natin, maybe merong mga hindrances tayo ma-experience. Ma- ma- ma-experience like the demands in life sa ating school and family. But knowing this, knowing your priorities, priorities, this will guide you all throughout your walk uh, as a student and as a learner. Let's continue. Always keep in mind, challenges are normal occurrences in life. Okay lang na, na meron tayong na-encounter na challenges. Wala namang tao na hindi nakaka-encounter ng difficulties in life, right? No single person can say that he or she never, has never encountered a challenge. Lahat tayo nakaka-experience ng challenges sa buhay natin. From, t- from the time you were born as a baby, you struggled to crawl, to walk, and to talk. Kahit nga nung bata tayo, di ba? Yung, yung, yung mga bata tayo, ngayon problema natin, mga homework and all. No? Internet problems. But then, nung bata tayo, gusto lang natin kumain ng candy. Iyak na tayo. It's already a struggle for a kid. Right? Yung mga, mga, mga infants. 
pa, yung mga maliliit pa. Ang struggle nila is gusto nilang uminom ng gatas. Minsan yung struggle nila, gusto nila kamutin yung likod nila. Pero hindi nila ma-express yun, kaya iiyak na lang nila. Minsan masakit siya nila, kaya iiyak na lang, na, na, na lang nila. So, para sa baby, yun yung challenges nila. Kasi tayo naman mga tao, iba-iba yung mga challenges na na-encounter natin sa buhay. Maybe your cha- your cha- the challenges that you have encountered in your life is different from mine. Pero hindi natin masasabi, oh, mas mabigat sa kanya, mas mabigat sa akin, mas magaan sa kanya, mas magaan sa akin. No, iba-iba ang mga challenges na na-experience natin. And we cannot judge a person by the challenges he is experiencing in life. Kagaya nito, as a toddler, you struggle to contain your tantrums when you did not get what you wanted. Gusto mo lang candy, gusto ko ng candy. So, nag-iiyak-iyak na, Mama, sama ako sa palengke. Gusto ko sumama. Minsan, gumagano tayo. Or gusto ko sumama sa mall. Uh, yun yung mga struggles natin as uh, as a toddler. But then, as, uh, as you added years into your life, habang lumalaki tayo, we begin to notice that ch- challenges your experience became more varied, complex, and difficult than before. Kumbaga, nag-upgrade yung mga challenges base sa kung anong status na natin sa buhay. When I say status, kung ano yun yung edad natin, kung uh, habang lumalaki tayo, lumalaki din yun, or nagiging complex din yung mga challenges na na-experience natin sa life. Let's continue. So, below are the str- suggested strategies or ways to help you achieve academic success. Num- uh, uh, we do have here the acronym STRATEGY. S-T-R-A-T-E-G-Y. Letter S, set your academic goal for this school year. Pinaka-importante, bago mag-start yung school year, mag-set ka na kung ano yung gusto mo ma-achieve. Gusto mo ba maka... Uh, gusto mo bang... ma-include sa top 10 students? Or gusto mo bang mag-excel in music? Gusto mo bang mag-excel sa isang specific subject? Set your academic goal for this school year. Pag hindi mo pa na-set, nagsisimula na yung school year, di ka pa naka-set, huwag ka mag Hindi pa huli ang lahat. You can start all over again. No? Start in the middle. Uh, habang meron tayo, it's not too late for you guys. Start your academic uh, goal. Kung, sa ngayon, mag-start ka na. Letter T, track your development through daily and weekly study plans. Study plan. Napaka-importante kung nagka- meron kang goal is matrack down mo kung ano na yung progress mo dun sa goal or development dun sa goal na ginawa mo. Make a daily or weekly study plan. Napaka-importante. Nang mamonitor mo kung ano na yung development mo. sa pag-aaral mo. Letter R, recognize the need for help of assistance from your parents, teachers, and other adults in relation to your academic needs. So, tandaan, sabi ko last time sa ating lesson, di ba? Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Narinig nila yung kantang yon. Ah, tandaan nyo, ha? No man is an island. Uh, may mga bagay tayong hindi alam na kailangan natin ng tulong talaga. Kaya, Pero bago yung kailangan ma-recognize natin na kailangan natin ng need for help. We need help. no Hindi sa lahat ng bagay, alam natin. Kahit sabihin mo ikaw ng pinakamatalino sa klase nyo. Hindi ibig sabihin nyo na alam mo na lahat ng bagay. So, always remember na andyan ng ating mga teachers, parents, most especially our parents, who loved us very much, our friends, or any adults who may be uh, there if we need some assistance. Let's uh, next one letter A accomplish your learning task ahead of time. Tandaan guys, no? Wag tayo again. Naalala niya sa lesson natin before, wag tayo magigingas kugon. Accomplish mo ko ano yung task na meron ka at mas maganda kapag nagawa mo yun ahead of time. Bakit? Para marami kang time sa sarili mo, marami kang time mag-enjoy, marami kang time maglaro. Ahead of time. Kaya ako kagaya ko uh, in my experience in life, ang ginagawa ko talaga, kung meron ako mga homework as much as possible no. nung college ako. Uh, nung high school din ako, ginagawa ko, pag may homework, ginagawa ko na kagad siya. Minsan, nasa school pa lang ako bago ako umuwi. Ginagawa ko na siya sa school. Bakit? Para pagdating ko sa bahay, manonood na lang ako ng TV. Kasi noon, hindi pa naman uso yung mga games sa cellphone. Ang uh, uso dati noon, Dragon Ball Z. Yan. Para pag uwi ko ng hapon, makakapanood ako ng mga anime. At, at uh, mga gusto ko mga palabas sa TV. Okay. So, accomplish your learning task ahead of time para marami kang time sa sarili mo. Letter T, thoroughly check the quality, quantity, and the presentation of your outputs before submission. Hindi pwede submit lang tayo ng submit. 
Tingnan mo muna kung maganda ang presentation mo. Tingnan mo muna kung tama yung mga sagot mo sa mga homeworks mo bago mo i-submit kasi naka-experience niya ako niyan. Syempre, uh, hindi ka nag uh, na, hindi mo inaccomplish yung learning task mo ahead of time. So nangyayari nga rag ka kayo kasi deadline na pala. Kapag ngarag ka na, no? Ma, hindi mo na nagkakraming ka na. Hindi mo na alam kung ano yung submit mo. So, thoroughly check the quality and the quantity of the presentation or your outputs before submission. Letter E, exercise efficiency, the use of time, materials, and efforts in achieving your academic goal. Tandaan, use time, use your time wisely. No, kasi ang time natin ay napaka-importante. Sabi nga nila, time is gold. Yes, it's literally gold because time is money, right? And time is precious. It's not all about money, guys. Time is precious. We spend more time. We make our time uh, useful by exercising the efficiency of the use of this time that God has given us. Okay, letter G. Gather all possible resources from books and other resources in order to have a better understanding of the topic in your classes. So ngayon, guys, marami na tayong resources. Pwede ka pumunta sa library. Lalo, lalo na pag nasa bahay lang. Ayan. Uh, maximize the use of your internet uh, or your, of your web. Oh, again, ha, hindi lahat na nakikita natin sa internet ay totoo. Kailangan maghanap talaga kayo ng reliable sources na makikita natin sa internet. Okay? Pero as much as possible, I would suggest you read books kasi ang books talaga hindi tayo maluloko niyan sa libro. Once it is pub, uh, publicized, no? Uh na thoroughly scan dyan ng mga author. So, medyo sa malabo talaga na magkaroon tayo dyan ng fake news kapag nagbabasa tayo ng libro compared sa nagre-research tayo or nagsasearch tayo through internet. Letter Y, you're to perform better and remember your motivations, study skills, and study habits. Perform better. Alalahanin mo kung ano yung nagmamotivate sa'yo para magpatuloy no? na ma-achieve mo yung mga academic goals mo. All right, Let's continue. Okay, likewise, as much as possible, learn to avoid the following. Okay, waste. W-A-S-T-E, waste. Wasting time or doing irrelevant activities while having classes like playing online games, chatting, watching movies or TV series, and daydreaming. Ako, sayang ang oras natin kapag ginagawa natin to. Kapag oras natin mag aral make the most out of it. Okay? Letter A, allowing your peers to dictate your plans and action. Huwag na huwag mong hahayaan na diktahan ka. For example, sila naglalaro. Huwag tayo mag-aral. Laro muna tayo dito. ML tayo, ML. O, oh, diba? So, ano nangyayari? Ano nangyayari? Instead, makakapag-aral ka, ano? Maglalaro kayo ng online games. No? So, napakasayang talaga ng oras. Letter S, stressing yourself to the point that you cannot function well. O, oh, wag naman sobra-sobra. Sabi ko nga sa inyo ng previous lesson, kailangan may leisure time din tayo, may game time din tayo, pero use time, uh, time wisely. No? Proper time management ang pinaka-importante. There are key thoughts that are negative, like difficult of the, difficulty of the subject, chance of failure, and inability to learn new lessons. Okay, ito yung mga bagay na mga negatibo, alisin natin yan sa isip natin. Nasabihin natin, ay, mahirap yung subject na to. Wag. Lahat ng bagay na tututunan. Okay lang. Okay lang magkamali. Pero wag kang magstay na down. No? Kailangan yung, yung thinking natin is always positive. And letter E, exhibiting and healthy behavior. Ayan. Kagaya niyan, poor sleeping habits, laro ka ng laro ng games nung gabi, Genshin Impact or what? No, ang gabi, eh, ano nangyayari? Kinaumagahan, ano mangyayari sa iyo? Ah, antok na antok ka. O oh, pag antok na antok ka, makakapakinig ka pa, pa ba sa lessons ng teacher? No, hindi, matutulog ka na lang. Kahit nakamuklat yung mata mo, hindi papasok sa isip mo. Bakit? Kasi antok na antok ka. So always use your gadgets uh, in a more appropriate way. All right? And don't exhibit unhealthy behavior. Let's continue. Conquering the clouds of challenges still Always keep in mind that strategies discussed above cannot be mastered overnight, okay? Hindi naman yan. For example, naging habit mo na siya. Hindi mo yun kaagad-agad mababago. Pero the good news is, kayang baguhin. May iba na mabilis lang. No? May iba naman na medyo matagal-tagal kasi habit, naging habit mo na. But the good news is, kayang baguhin. All study habits which are proven effective and efficient takes time, hard work, and practice. Whenever you take it upon yourself to apply the strategies, 
seriously, you will begin to see that the challenges you encounter within the outside of the school setting are not as overwhelming or discouraging as before. So, pag nakita mo ay na-realize mo sa huli, pag pinag mo yung good study habits, you will conquer all the, these clouds of challenges that you have. Okay? Hindi pala siya nakaka-overwhelm. Ay, ganito lang pala to. Ay, kaya ko palang i-overcome to. So, that would be a positive uh, experience para sa iyo. No? Na malalaman mo na, ay, hindi pala siya ganun ka-discouraging. All right. So, let's continue. Okay, so there you go. Doon nagtatapos ang ating talakayan. If you have any questions and clarifications, pwede nyo ilagay sa comment section. And once na mabasa namin ito, GTA team will surely answer it. And more than willing to answer all of your queries. So, let's continue. Now that you have learned something new today, let's see how you can be able to answer or assessment or post assessment all right so again a reminder guys uh you may pause the video if you need time to answer this one okay feel feel free to pause the video okay so let's go on a clean sheet uh of ba- of paper and bond paper complete each sentence uh, sentence below by writing the best phrase that applies select your answers from the boxes on the right okay so meron tayo dyan, good study habits take a deep breath cramming focus self-esteem activities goals and group studies okay let complete lang natin to i will be giving you 10 seconds but again Uh, you can pause the video if you needed time. All right. So, timer starts. All right. Timer starts now. Oh, sorry. Go. 10. Okay, congratulations. Very, very good. All right, let's continue. Okay, part two, share your thoughts and feelings. Okay, so we do have your study habits, pros and cons. We do have a table here on my uh, left side, guys. So left side. So copy the following table. On a clean sheet of bond paper, write the pros uh, or advantages and the cons, disadvantages, and your insights for each listed study habits. Okay, so meron tayong study habits dito. Time management, note-taking, managing distractions, doing advanced readings, and listening attentively. Ano yung mga pros, ano yung cons, and ano yung insights mo patungkol dito. Again, you may feel free to pause the video. Okay. When answering, if you still have, uh, if you still need more time in answering uh, our activity. Okay? So, timer starts now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Okay, time is up. All right. Very good. Okay. So, let's continue. Let's go to our reflection time. What are the things that you learned about yourself after the lesson? Oh, ano, ano yung mga bagay na natutunan natin sa araw na ito? Ano yung mga kailangan nating iwasan? Ano ang mga bagay na nandoon sa strategy? Ah, naalala nyo yung strategy na kailangan natin ito i-take i- i- into account no? para ma-overcome natin o ma-conquer natin yung mga difficulties in learning, right? Or mga challenges in learning. Ano-ano yung mga bagay na ito? Saan ka ba na-challenge? Sa na-challenge ka ba? Or me- meron ka bang mga, mga, mga habits no? na kung saan uh, medyo nahirapan ka na i-overcome? Uh, Paano mo i-overcome ngayon ito? Ngayon na-realize mo na na ah, meron pala akong ganitong mga weaknesses sa ating uh, or mga challenges na kinakarap sa aking sa aking life, no, as a student. 
ngayon, uh, it's time to reflect on those things and start. Okay? Doing positive things that would strengthen and in order for you to reach your academic goals. Okay? Yes, all right. So, thank you so much for watching. Always remember, don't study hard, study smart. What is smart? Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. There you go. And now we're done with our lesson. Thank you, my great learners, for listening. I hope that I can still see you on my next video. Once again, I am great teacher Alvin Boots. If you like what we have discussed, please leave a comment for I will be happy to read it. Promise that I will be more inspired sharing lessons in our great community. Again, for you to be updated, do not forget to follow our online platforms, The Great Teachers Academy. Remember, here in The Great Teachers Academy, we make complex lessons easy to understand. Have a wonderful day. Bye!